What's going on in the polling numbers? Well, the, the big number is Joe Biden's failed. And I take a longer term view of this because I've worked for the president for a number of years for President Trump. And, uh, you know, after after he left office, I met with him in Mar-a-Lago. We had some polling numbers and uh, it was in early February. And it's reported in Woodward's book or whatever, but they got the dates wrong. But two thirds of the Republican primary voters wanted him to run again back then. Wow. And I reminded him of. Ronald Reagan. For those of us who volunteered for Reagan in 76, uh, you know, there was buyer's remorse that we didn't get the nomination. And then by the time Jimmy Carter had failed in 1980, Reagan won in a landslide. Well, I, back then I told President Trump in 21, I said, let's uh, see what happens. Biden's going to fail. When he fails, people will want you back. I, I didn't think Biden would fail this gloriously the way he's done. I mean, the country's in real dire straits with inflation, uh, the economy, wars going on in Ukraine and the Middle East, and uh, the border's open. It's unbelievable. So 68% of all voters in our last national poll said the country's on the wrong track. Economy's getting worse. 65% say it's getting worse. 40, 84% have been negatively impacted by inflation. 46% they can't make ends meet. And you know what? President Trump is beating Joe Biden in virtually all the national polls for the popular vote. And and Biden has tried to indict his leading political opponent, Donald Trump, <laughs> to keep us from winning again. So uh, uh, so with that kind of a dynamic, uh, Donald Trump has gone from being ahead in the national Republican primary 42 to 31 in January to destroying the field with 58% to like 11% to 8% against DeSantis and Nikki Haley, and then winning in Iowa, winning in New Hampshire, winning in South Carolina, which is Nikki Haley's home state. Right. I mean, the voters want Donald Trump to be president again. They want things to get better.